Hey everyone, welcome to Effects Creation. Today we are going to create this. So let's get started. First, open After Effects, create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, this is called the main comp. Then here we have some brush stroke PNG. So import first brush stroke PNG into the timeline, resize it, and rotate according to your choice. It is not necessary that you adjust it exactly like me, then also import second brush stroke image into the timeline. We will also rotate it and adjust it accordingly. You can keep it randomly according to you. After that, we need to create a new composition. This is our image placeholder composition, width around 400 pixels, and height 1200 pixels. I think we need to increase the width, around 800 pixels. Perfect. Then import our model PNG image into the timeline, and adjust the image according to the composition. After that, go to main comp, and import image placeholder 1 comp into the timeline, and put it in front of the brush stroke, and decrease the scale size to about 80%, Cool. Now, let's add some little liquid elements in our composition, so create a new composition, and I called this bubble, change width and height around 800 by 800 pixels. Go to toolbar and select ellipse tool, and make a small circle something like this, and change the circle color white. Now animate the circle, open position and scale property, go to first frame, and add a keyframe on position, then go to around 3 second forward, and move the circle something like this. I think we need to move last keyframe around 2 second, Cool. We also need to animate the scale, so go around 15 to 16 frame forward. And add a keyframe, then go to the next keyframe where our position keyframe is, and change the scale amount 0%. Perfect. Select all keyframe and easy ease them. Now duplicate this layer around 5 to 7 time. Then select first layer and go to the last keyframe on position, and change the position, something like this. Then select second layer and move the last position keyframe. Do the same with all layers. I am moving this part little fast forward, so that you don't have to wait. After all adjustment of the layers, it's something look like this. Now we want to give it a little liquid effect. So create an adjustment layer, then search fast blur effect, change the blur radius around date. Then search simple choker effects. And change choke mat 10. Cool, that's look perfect. Again go to main comp, and import bubble comp into the timeline. And adjust anywhere in the composition, also move the layer around 1 second forward. Then duplicate the bubble layer multiple time. Offset the layer and adjust the bubble randomly on the composition, something like this. 
Select all bubble layer and change the layer's color, so that we can easily find the bubble. Now we need to animate our image placeholder layer, so select the image placeholder one layer, go to first frame, and add a keyframe on position. And move the Y position upside down like this. Then go to around one and half second forward, and bring the Y position back to its old position, like this. Then again go to around 2 second forward, and add a keyframe, then go to 1 second forward, and change the Y position little bit upside down. Then select all the keyframe, and easy ease them, and adjust your graph something like this. Cool. Now, I want our image placeholder keep moving left side lightly, so create a null layer, and parent image placeholder with null layer. I call this placeholder position, then go to first frame, and add a keyframe on position. Then go to 5 to 6 seconds forward, and move the X position, just a little bit. So it looks something like this. That's look perfect. Now apply drop shadow on image placeholder, so select image placeholder layer, and search drop shadow effect, change the opacity 30%, distance 10, softness 25. Perfect. Now, add some text into the composition, so go to project window and create a new composition, and this is called text1 underscore 1, and change the width and height around 500 by 500 pixels. Then type your text. Now I want to animate this text, so expand text layer, go to animate, and select opacity, then select character offset, Character offset around 20. Open range selector 1, and add a keyframe on start, then go to 2 second forward, and change the start 100%. And change the opacity 0%. Move the last key around 1 second back. Cool. Now go to main comp and import text com into the timeline, and move the layer around one second forward. Now add one more text, so go to project window and duplicate text comp, and import into the timeline. Open second text comp layer, and change your text. I want to change the text animation, so open text layer and delete the animator one. Then go to animate and select position. Then select opacity. Now open range selector 1, then open advance, and change based on, from character to words. And change the Y position around 50. And add a keyframe on start, then go to around one and half second forward, and change the start 100%, and change the opacity 0%. Select both keyframe and easy ease them, and adjust your graph like this. That's look perfect. Now we need to animate the both text, so create a null layer. It's called text control. And parent both text layer with null layer, then go to around two and half seconds forward when are both text visible, press P for position and shift S for scale. And add a keyframe, then go to few frame forward, and change the scale around 120%. Then go to few frame forward, and change the X position something like this. Select both scale keyframe and easy ease them. And adjust your graph like this.
I think we should change the scale from 120 to 110 percent. Cool. Now select position keyframe, and easy ease them, and adjust your graph like this. That's look perfect. Now select all layers and pre-compose them, this is our scene 1 composition. Now add background. So create a solid layer. And search gradient ramp effect. And change the color according to your choice. Now we need to animate scene 1, so select scene 1 and press P for position, go to around 1 second forward and add a keyframe, then go to first frame and change the Y position downside of the composition, as you can see our brush stroke look like a cut, so turn on the collapse transformed icon, now it's look perfect. Now go to around 3 second forward and add a keyframe. Then go to 1 second forward, and change the X position something like this. Select all keyframe and easy ease them, and adjust your graph like this. Cool, that's look perfect, our animation has done, let's see the preview. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.